getting into Mykonos for an early morning walk, I was prepared for the famous stray cats, the beautiful Instaworthy photo ops, high prices for good coffee and small chairs with great views, horrible afternoon crowds, and even pickpockets. But in all my pre-trip research, not once did I come across anything that mentioned what I now like to call Tourist Frogger. If you're not familiar with the vintage 80s ColecoVision video game, a frog has to cross several lanes of highway to make it to the other side, trying not to get squished by a car. While not quite as bad as trying to cross I-5 at rush hour, here's a heads up at how I found myself jumping into bushes and diving into restaurants to avoid being hit by cars on what looked like sidewalks. Three times in one morning in Mykonos. Let's just take a minute to look at some of the walkways that wind through the labyrinthine seaside town. Alright, here's the first time we had to dive out of the way. I think it was into the bushes. When I play that back, you can see that there were a couple other people that had to jump into the bushes too. The second time wasn't so bad because there was a restaurant we could jump into, but I did not expect the second van. I didn't think that would still happen. That that's big enough for a car to drive down. <laughs> that's different. Now don't get me wrong, I have no idea how these delivery drivers can do their jobs, especially with the horrible crowds that can happen when cruise ships are in port, and I was at fault because I was not looking for cars on the path. It's their country, and I'm just a visitor, and I know about myself that I have a really hard time focusing on anything else while I'm actively gawking at a place that frankly takes my breath away. I guess the moral of my little story, if there is one, I think, is that if you want to see some really cool stuff, sometimes you just have to be ready to jump into the bushes. <laughs> 